One of the things we want to do whenever we're doing calculations is to look and see if we can't find clever shortcut ways for doing them. So here, for example, if I've got this whole long chain of things to add together, if I know my bonds to 10 really well, one of the things I can do is actually just match up 10s, right? So I've got a 5 and a 5, that's going to give me one 10. And then I've got a 3 and a 7, that's going to give me another 10. And then I've got a 6 and a 4, that's going to give me another 10. So quickly and easily I can see what I have here is the answer to this is 39. So a nice quick way of getting to the answer there. Similarly, if I really get good at my bonds to 100, I can immediately in this one see that instead of just adding from left to right like that, if I go 73 and 27, that makes 100. So the total will be 162. And then another thing that I might consider is doing a little bit of like rounding and estimating and that kind of thing. So 199 plus 198 is going to take me a long while to calculate unless I just think, well, look, this is very close to 200, but it's just one short of 200. And 198, that's also close to 200, but it's too short, right? So the answer is going to end up being very close to 400, but it's going to be one back and another two back. In other words, if you take off three from the 400, you'll get what it's equal to.